<clears throat> a overrates cast and debut season five, right? Yeah. Hey. Right after. Right, right after, after, after winning the... a series. Exactly. Riding high. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? <laughs> So who's playing this game? So it's going to be IRL <coughs> versus Hashling and Slashers. Hmm. Well. And uh, looking like, oh, actually, uh, yeah, Kiyoshi and Nehor changed their names. So Kiyoshi's Poppy Chulo, and Nehor is Too Poppy. All right. Well. And so these guys, they have a new core of players now. Wait, is the stream like? Oh, I didn't change the overlay. There we go. All right, new lobby boys. Change the stream title to. Oh, okay, there we go. Thank you. Whoever changed that escapist. The casters were ready. Both teams have their new uh, new rosters, and actually, another uh, former teammate battles going on with uh, Hide on Blake. He's now playing for Hash against his old team IRL. So, another interesting story here. Well, still don't. I think top lane's gonna be a fun thing to watch. Yeah, who do you take in this matchup, Freshburger or Kiyoshi? Oh well, Kiyoshi's <laughs> definitely gonna lose. <laughs> got zero brain power up there, so I'll give it to Burger. I like to hold my Pete in as long as I can. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not sure who's gonna win the game though. Yeah, and this is the first series that IRL are going to play with their new jungle and mid duo, uh, as well as, the, I guess they have a new AD carry as well, and he's Diamond Force. So they have a whole new core of the team, or a whole new uh, carry lineup, and their jungler and support are the same with the uh, Nahor bros. So this will be interesting to see what these teams do. This is also, uh, I guess, Hash, this is their second series with their new roster. They're going to have an AD carry sub. And they're missing out on their AD carry Little Groot, who is, uh, he used to be a Masters player, but he's given D4 points, because he's all the way down to D4 now, so. He was a pretty strong, big strong point for the team, but now, uh, Opposin's in the lineup now. Formerly a free Take, who, uh, dropped from the league, if y'all don't remember, a couple days ago. <laughs> so he's an, he's an emergency sub for them. So, why did he drop from the, uh, the other day? I wasn't a part of that. So uh, there's this whole drama where uh, he had a Smurf account, didn't know, and then uh, raised his points and then basically took away their wins because they were over the cap. And so they just said, we're just going to leave the league. And so they left the league, but... Well... That's okay. Now he's playing for Hash as a sub. What are these bands going on? You got Kaisa, Ezreal, Graves. Ooh, lots of 80 carry bands. The Kaisa just got nerfed heavily with the Gwinsu's nerf, though, so it's not even. Uh... Yeah, I wouldn't call it a heavy nerf, but it was a. Uh, it's good. It was a decent nerf. It was a like nine or ten percent AD and AP. They from the Rage Blade. Zinda, Ori, and Braum. But yeah, Zindao, Zindao Zindao band. I don't know if that's really necessary unless this guy plays it often. The Oriana just got heavily, like, really good buff. Oh yeah, the W buff is insane. And that's one of yeah. Hide on Blake's best champions. Definitely gonna be a... That's a good ban. The other ones, these bans are very odd in my opinion, though. Yeah, Graves ban, probably good. I think CBT Jungler likes to play that a lot. <laughs> I think Dax Reaper is a big uh, Trundle guy. I don't know if he actually plays this in shower or not. The Morgana first pick was interesting. I don't know what if Puff actually top. plays it. It could be top lane Vlad, it could also be bot lane Vlad. So it is a flex I pick. I don't see why you would pick Vlad when Lucian's still up. Lucian's really strong still. Yeah, and I want to see if uh, Shush I80 carry could play it. I don't know what else I should call him, but I don't like. I don't want to say call him Shush. It's kind of annoying, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. What's his name <laughs> on the di What's his name on the server? Uh, or an IRL, the thing. Secretic? Secretic? Is that what it is? Secret? <coughs> Secretic? I, guess that's I don't it. know. That's even worse. We're just calling them Secret. Yeah, Secret. I like Secret. And oh, the Camille. I think Camille's still pretty good even after that nerf of her uh, hookshot. 
I don't really, I don't know. I haven't, not in the jungle. I don't think she's good in jungle anymore. Oh, really? Mm -mm. I don't think it's really good at all. She gets abused so easily now. Twitch. Wait, Twitch is really good right now, actually. With all the ner with the nerfs of the Gwensus, you go Bork into Hurricane into IE. He's actually uh -huh. really, really good right now. Oh, interesting. Maybe something for me to try out in the future. Especially if the other team isn't going to pick any hard CC, then they already have Morgana, and if they can just get a front line for top lane, then it's definitely going to be a really good. Yeah, for scenario. sure. Wave clear mid. They need wave clear mid, though. The Nocturne pick actually isn't good into Twitch because. Oh, really? He's he goes stealth. Gonna... Well, like if he's if he Twitch can stay stealth and step behind the back and not have to worry about anything, and then just pop up after Nocturne ult. He can just hide in the back, and then Twitch can just pop up, open up, and the fight's over. You don't actually want Nocturne into it. Like, yeah, you would think the Assassin pick would be good, but but like the uh, support pick though isn't like any appeal at all for Nocturne with the uh, Morgana. I mean, so, like, couldn't does the Nocturne fear, just go in? Huge thing. The fear is huge for Nocturne though. That's what makes him be able to keep up with you because you get movement speed to people you feared. So if he doesn't fear him, then there's actually no way. Plus the Morgana binding. Twitch can just throw the W down on himself and the Morgana can bind. And Nocturne's useless. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's we'll see how that interaction play plays out. Yeah, I don't know what would happen. Twitch dies. Oh, yeah. What about, like, Vladimir? <clears throat> It'd have to be Zoe getting a bubble. From like oh, what happened? Um, yeah, I don't know. That was okay. His client crashed. His client crashed. Whose client? CBT. Okay, so the jungler's client crashed. Gotta make sure that they have the same picks and tell that. There's a uh, Nocturne, Zoe, Vlad, and. Morgana, Twitch, Camille, Morgana. Twitch. Yeah. I wanna take a look at this guy's profile, see what he plays AD carry. Because he's di Diamond 4 right now, he's got about 900 games. Does he even play Twitch? He played Twitch yesterday, but it's like not one of his top 7 champs. Does he have another account? It's like, I'm I mean, surprised. He has 40 games almost on it with 67% oh, yeah. winner. He's pretty solid, so I guess he's feeling comfortable in that. He could have also picked, like, Lucian or something else that's, like, a bigger lane bully, I feel like. I mean, to be honest, he could go the new Stormraiser item, go Stormraiser, Static Shiv, into uh, IE as well. He doesn't have to go Borg. He does a Stormraiser build, though. He's gonna have to play like an assassin Twitch. Yeah, I think Fork is the better build <laughs> overall. Vlad will get some extra health, so that'll help him help him kite the Vlad too with the active. What do you think of these funneling strats that uh, you've been that we've been seeing a lot in the meta? Wait, who's morale? Uh, what happened? <coughs> is, uh, morale is their start mid laner. Okay, they're just in the wrong order. I got confused there. Yeah, I was really confused as well. I'm not it's gonna like, lie. what the hell? You can't pull that on us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the new funneling though, it's. I don't think it's good with certain matchups. Like, I don't really like the cart this one. I think it just falls off so hard later. And yeah. then the Yi. I just don't. I don't think it's that good either right now anymore. But I mean, I, it was alright at first. Yeah, they the, just nerfed the Yi. Kaisa Zaya is so good right now though, because yeah. they're doing Zaya in the jungle still. What they're doing is doing jungle Zaya with Recon mid. <laughs> yeah, it's actually it's pretty, pretty gross. Warrior, uh, Warrior Hurricane IE. Oh, they even build the jungle item. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, I guess that makes sense. There's Whoa, my my champions are still showing up on the screen. Yeah, yeah mine too. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's so really annoying. Weird. It says Vlad, Zoe, and Nocturne. No problem. <sighs> I gotta sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. 
<laughs> Bless you. The ball is angry. <laughs> There's the Morgana. Shock. Hmm, I wonder what they're gonna pick next. Zoe? Hmm. Oh, wow. Surprised. I'm very good at predicting it. Oh, these are some fast picks. Jeez. Man, they were ready. They don't have to plan anything out. They have it all with the spreadsheet made up and everything. Don't worry. <laughs> Every oh. draft scenario calculated. Exactly. He totally forgot, though, that it was Twitch. Yeah. He almost picked Chris <laughs> like, wait, you let me play Twitch? What the hell? It's like, fuck, I was high when I started this. <laughs> so, he got... Let's see, coming up, I think next, both teams have no CC right now, really. If Mundo's still left open, and Mundo's really good into the... On either side, actually. Mm -hmm. I think Mundo needs a pick band right here. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think uh, if you are IRL, you, t you definitely want that Mundo pick. End of Vlad Zoe. Yeah. If you can grab that. But your second, your second pick after the uh, band's end, so I don't know if you'll be able to grab it. And I think this is where the DC happens, so let's see what that last band's going to be. The Lulu band's interesting. I don't know what they're going to Lulu band if there's like Kaisa and Lu Ezreal are both gone. Yeah, I'm not... Hmm. They need to ban out a top laner, and if they're not getting Mundo, they need to ban it. Yeah, and like, you could even put that Mundo on... Uh, on hashtag X Slasher's side, except that yeah. that would be putting your Vladimir bot lane, which is which but is fine. I think Vlad needs to go bot here. I think you want to grab a support right now, though, if you're hash and you want to. Uh, but there's no pick. Save that, that flex. Oh, oh wow. so they got double flex. So that's super cool. That is. They could. That could be Vlad Shin bot. It could be Shin top. Vlad. Top. Yeah. That's. That's a really smart pick. It also. Uh, <laughs> Whoever, it's also more globals for Nocturne. Extra shields for him to go in. The Orin? Ah, I really think... Uh-oh, is it Mundo time? Um, <laughs> if he goes Mundo top right here, I think... That's pretty sick. It's a pretty sick draft you get that Mundo. really good into Zoe. After six. Oh yeah, she has so many dashes. Yeah. No, not the Galio pick. Please don't go down. <laughs> they don't... Ooh, so... is good. That's a lot of damage to for a Mundo to deal with, even a Mundo. Casio Twitch. Yeah. I don't know what they can pick here, to be honest. Darius. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. They're doing it. They're playing. <laughs> they're playing. They're embracing the uh, this patch. Hmm. I'm not gonna lie. I, I still have to give it to IRL. Team comp wise. Oh, really? Wow. Twitch and Morgana win the Vlad Shin lane. Uh, Cassiopeia and Zoe. I don't honestly know who wins that, but I'm almost positive Cassiopeia does. Yeah. Nocturne and Camille, Nocturne wins, but in Darius and Orin, Darius wins. So Camille just needs to be looking bot and trying to get pressure early there. Help get picks with the Morgana binding. Yeah, I just think like this mid game that Hash has, it's just insane. Yeah, you just got to let it, let them farm. Like if it goes late, I Close think uh, IRL definitely wins this late game. Oh, for sure. But this this the comp that is going to be all about Hash. Yeah, what their decision making is. Hash has so many like tools to make plays. Now we got a nice three minute delay. Yeet. Predict the invade from IRL. They're gonna <laughs> go through the bot lane. I like it. Try to get a pick on Nocturne. I wait. Zoe's got cleanse. Uh, what can you cleanse with Zoe? Cassio I mean, the, ults. The the snare, Morgana binding. Morgana. That's it, really. I don't know. A hook shot on Camille, <clears throat> but you can just dodge that with your R. But then you're back in your spot. Uh, I want to dodge the LTR then. I don't know. I wouldn't go cleanse. I don't think, I don't think cleanse is worth it though because Camille's still going to ult you. You just go heal, right? <clears throat> yeah. I'm not... Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's going to be... Nocturne needs a Snowball to Darius, though. Yeah. Such free kills early game. Definitely a play around this top side. Zoe can look for picks as well with her bubble top. She can just push the wave and go. I need to blow my nose. <laughs> this nice three minute delay, though. You dying? <laughs> oh my god. I think both comps have their strengths and weaknesses, but uh, power level, if you're looking at the comp that Hash has, it's off the charts. In the yeah, game. Over Just about, yeah. But late game though, late game though you have the Cassiopeia and the Twitch. Protecting the Twitch might be hard to do late game. <clears throat> without like a protective support. Nocturne late game can just like one shot you as Twitch. And props to Opposing for coming in here and playing that uh, Vladimir. That yeah, off-traditional bot laner. Super shocked about the Vlad pick. Didn't know that Opposing like played that. Play yeah, let's see how he does, because I don't think there's been many impressive uh, bot lane mages yet. In, yeah, uh, in uh, Prophecy Cup. Not uh, too excited to see. <laughs> Yeah, so he's been playing Vlad a little bit. Actually, quite a bit of Vlad. You know, Zoe that GG. He's got the skills down. Oh, electrocute on Zoe? I guess that's pretty good. I don't see it that often. Honestly, don't see oh, that working out very well. Dread Nova Darius. Isn't that like the Hextech shop skin? It is, but he needs the good one, the god one. Dunkmaster. Oh wait, God King Darius is uh, it's out now. Yeah, it's out. Oh okay. Here we go. I didn't. Oh crap! I didn't switch the layout again. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't mind me. Don't mind you. Just fixing this. Alright, so it looks like they're going to be... Hash is going to be invading. Wait, uh, is my thing bugged? I think it's bugged. Why? I don't know, but I'm not in the lobby yet. Or I'm not in the game yet. It's I'm like frozen seconds. at zero. Uh-oh. My client crashed, it looks like. Oh, well. I got to fix it. One moment, boys. I'm trying to get in there. Reconnecting to it. Hopefully, it'll oh, let me shit. in. Well, there's a team fight going in. They just uh, what? Hash came in. Hash came in. Fucking IRL invaded them. Nocturne gets the first blood. No They're way. Stuck in a five man bush in a tiny little fucking bush by oops by wolves. Oh my and god. Yeah, just gave Nocturne the free first blood. What? Morgana using both thumbs and Shin only using ignite. Well uh nice nice play by play there. Yeah. I'm in the lobby now at 130, 131. Yep, that's it. You just missed it by cool. just <laughs> missed it. Dang. So everyone getting first blood gold, uh, assists gold in that one. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is
this is going to give Nocturne a pretty healthy advantage once he gets that first recall off. Yeah, he's uh, going to Wolves though. I don't actually recommend that. What you want to do on Nocturne in that situation, since you already got first blood, just go to your Gromp and go to Bot Scuttle. And then you can go to Wolves into your right, because Camille's actually not going to invade you. If she does, you kill her. She can't be 1v1 with you at, all, at any time in the game. Yeah, and this Camille actually uh, went from red straight to the Scuttle Crab. What do you think of that pathing by Camille? That's a uh, best case scenario for her, because if Nocturne does do, do what he did, then he's going to be late anyway. So if he goes... Now she should take blue. And uh oh, rotate. I don't Blake. Big punish there. Yeah, she should rotate from blue to just do her full clear, because she doesn't want to help top lane. It's not going to be a kill at all. Mm -hmm. Nocturne's doing a very inefficient path. Now he's got two camps both on each side that are going to be left open. He's probably going to for a gank. Oh, yep, you're right. A little strange path. I would, shouldn't he just do a full clear instead? But like, once he does rolls. He's wasting his time going all the way down to Gromp. He should back after Raptors then. Yeah, interesting pathing from Dax Reaper X. Camille's looking for that mid lane gank. Zoe got chunked out earlier, but... I don't... Did she use both her pots? Did you, yeah, I still don't see why Camille didn't do wolves. Okay. She just wasted six seconds in mid. This is going to be a very jungle oriented stream here with Overrate on the dead <laughs> caster, caster couch. Did I just say that? So they should, yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, that's a free kill right there on Camille, for sure. Oh, flash. Oh, yep, this is going to be a free kill. Oh no, he fucked it up. Zoe. Oh, go. giving Darius the kill. <laughs> Making right. him flash, and he grabs that one. It's the first, uh, second kill, actually. Not first blood for Darius, but. So that would have actually been a lot cleaner by Nocturne if he flashed the wall instantaneously. Oh, Vlad, you gotta pool that one. He's fine. Wait, he actually didn't Wait, flash. he didn't level up the pool. Oh, no. Did he not? Yeah, he didn't level up his pool. Oh, he dude. got two points of Q. But here comes Nocturne in the bot lane. Shen is going to go for the taunt. Black Shield is down. Oh, flash taunt going onto the Twitch. He's gonna get the blades, and now he flashes away, but the tower shot... Doesn't quite take do him do? down, and everyone walks away, but the poison! Oh, Shen's dead to the poison, 100%. No, he's got Potion's running, okay. Everyone gets out of that line. Wrong. They should have targeted the Morgana there, she had no sums. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah, bad focus there by the uh, Puff Nasty, but <laughs> Twitch has no mana to use his E, so... Camille is coming though, gonna get that- Oh wow, that was oh, sick geez. Camille play. Guess the right sweep. At the same time as the pool, so the yeah. damage went together. The first stick of the pool plus the... Sweep, conquer the kill. Without yeah, it, so it. yeah, Camille getting her first kill of the series, first kill in Prophecy Cup for CBT Jungle. Nocturne still hasn't backed. He's actually in a bad spot doing that. Yeah, and he's just and he ignoring Grump again. Well. That's interesting. Why he would just walk right by it? So he's got sixteen hundred gold. If he doesn't buy a team out here, though, he's not. <laughs> Let's see what he does. Challenging smite. So no TMF for him yet. Double longsword and ch uh, challenging smite's not too bad. Opposing actually going for the coin route on this Vladimir. I like I like going the Doran shield. But both of them have DOT, but Camille's coming with the crest sweep. It's gonna get drowsied up though. That was, so I, uh... You just walk away, but oh, oh the ignite's coming down. Dead. Oh wow, nice play from forced. Blake. Yeah, very forced there by CBT Jungle. That's another awkward Literally. name to say. What should I call him instead yeah. of CBT Jungle? <laughs> I think the CBT. CBT. <laughs> All right, I'll try that. We got secret and CBT. Got Definitely secret. need some name changes. Yeah, morale in mid lane. Nocturne needs to be looking top. It should be free kills. Yeah, ooh, Shen has Hex Flash, that's interesting. Nocturne not even level close to level 6 yet, so... Um, Wait, well, why is Darius running? Why are you running? He's <laughs> going for that confused. lane control. He's going to get that uh, minion wave pushed, uh, froze on him. Unless he pushes it out. No, he's freezing it, so good lane control from him. Yeah. Orn can't really walk up to the wave anymore <laughs> with level 6 Darius with the Phage. 
Oh, he doesn't need it back. Nocturne should sneak into the bushes. Look for a lane gank. Oh, but he's backing again? I'm... okay. He's always looking for the roam down bot lane. They do have vision and on her. Though. Here comes Nocturne. Freshburger probably called for this, and here comes the hook. And Orn has the uh, Forge God has the flash, but is he going to use that? I don't think so. He's walking towards the enemy turret, but there's the dash. But Freshburger is just going to get that free kill in the bot lane though. Shen gets that taunt off, and Vlad hits level five. But I think he's going to go down. He has no more pool. So yep, there's a trade for one for one with a support down there. Interesting trades. Vladimir Ooh, not hitting not six good. there. Uh oh, here's the first paranoia of the game one to Cassiopeia. The shield doesn't block the, the stun, so oh. still gets feared up. Oh, and can flash just in time. And Daxweaker's gotta be careful. They, they both have to be careful. <laughs> yeah, Morale can still 2v1 that. Yeah. Freshburger's just missed a lot of his Qs. That's the third Q I've seen him miss on the Orin. You don't have to hit your Qs. He's you gotta hit those. Good dunk. <laughs> Opposing and Puff Nasty would need to hold this wave right here and freeze it. It'll really mess the Twitch up. Yeah, the Vlad is 6 now, so like they can choose any on they want to now. Twitch has no sums, so they should actually look for a fight right here. You should just go, yeah, as soon as they possibly can, but Shen's recalling. Oh, that binding was so close. Camille's making a smart decision there to stay behind the uh, bot lanes to make sure they don't get engaged on. Yeah, they actually didn't have any vision of her right there whenever she did do that, so if they would have went in, they would have gotten really deep trouble. Should be noted that Vlad actually got some nerfs on this patch. He just got his like E re damage reduced by a uh, 0.2 AP ratio. Oh yikes! Just like a, it's solid. I would say solid nerf. Cause Vlad did do like way too much damage with that ability. <laughs> just gross. How is Orin higher level than Darius right now? Um, I'm actually not sure. <laughs> did Nocturne just like steal so much XP? Yeah, I'm gonna have to guess. I really have no idea. That's crazy. Cause that wave was like, I guess that wave was built up pretty hard. 13 CS mid. I mean top. 13 CS different than top. Or yeah. burst damage is crazy. Just half helping that Darius. Neither the Nocturne nor Camille is actually building correctly. They really want the Tiamat, so they can yeah. put the pressure. Tiamat's <laughs> such a good item, like it changes the way you can play the game, basically. Yeah. And then also CSing very poorly, like they're always having, a, look at all these camps they have up every time they back. And yeah, I really should want to go for every camp. Yeah, neither one of them are taking <laughs> Who wants Grump, man? Apparently Nobody wants Grump. nice fat chunk of gold from a one single camp is not what you want. <laughs> You're talking about Scuttle Crab, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Scuttle Crab's new buff. New buff. Vlad picking up those Sork shoes. He's gonna be moving pretty fast. Hmm. Twitch sums are back up, though. <laughs> that's that pretty important. Rush, he didn't what? The Bork? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going for the Bork rush. I think that is correct. Uh, yeah, I do as well. A lot of health stacking. Darius and Vlad get health. Shen gets health. They need, uh, Hash needs to start looking for the dragon. Oh, gets binded up by the Cassio. There's the paranoia. Wait. On the Cassio, Cassio gets such one shot. Hextech ultimate the comes through along with the Shen ultimate, United we stand. Forge got on the very side there, coming through. And so much action is happening right now. Shen is going to get caught out by the Morgana. And sh two poppy Nahor is going to grab that kill. Overall one for one, but here comes CBT with the with the uh, Twitch ultimate, rat -a tat tat he goes for it, but doesn't quite grab it. Uh-oh, but here's Vlad. Oh, gets one shot, and he doesn't continue that fight for some reason. But... <laughs> uh, very passive player. Yeah, Vlad did just like flash ulti like a half HP twitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not but, 100% sure about it. But true. it's okay. Twitch just straight up dying without using any summoners. This is when they go for the dragon instead of having Darius recall. The lane's already shoving for Darius, and you can shove the mid lane, go for dragon right here, and get a free dragon. Twitch would not make it in time, and they did use a lot of stuff to get the pick on Shin. 
Yeah, not using their resources to their uh, full advantage here. This game. They do have a 3k gold lead almost. Or a 2.5k gold lead, I guess. Um, yeah, so not bad. Good snowball is coming through. CBT jungles. I mean, uh, <laughs> not having the team at. Waiting for that smite cooldown. I'm not gonna lie, Blake's uh, bubble skin. Very lackluster so far. Oh, Shen's gonna look for the flash taunt here, and he goes for it. I think that's worth though. Always. 100% worth it. This Vladimir can one shot Twitch whenever he uh, has his ultimate available. Oh, Darius pulls him back in. Come here. He could potentially go for a kill right now. No ultimate on the Orn. And Orn has to flash away. Oh. Uh oh, mid lane fight. That was a very good fight. Yeah, both mid laners cleanse very well. And here we go. It's gonna come down to the wire on this one. But Cassio just has more DPS overall. Zoe, a little bit uh, eager for that one. A little hyphy. He should he probably. Wasted the flash. Yeah, he should probably know that he can't actually 1v1 that Cassio in a long fight like that. You want to burst her out. But uh, that was a pretty interesting fight. It was well played by both of them until the flash. Blake, like, out. yeah. Should have probably just flashed away. He flashed after the Q landed on him as well, by the way. So. Oh, yeah. A lot of extra damage coming out. And there's the taunt with the hex flash on the Shen, and Twitch is going to get taken out immediately. And that the Camille is just gonna run away. Run for the hills. So right here they need to be looking for a dragon. Again, let's see if they do. Again. Camille is up, but they shouldn't really mind. They have the uh, sh the, uh all that CC available to them to Shen. Camille's on a third HP though, so if she goes in here, she's dead. Yeah, she's just gonna die for this dragon if they want to try, but Camille has mid priority. I mean a uh, Cassiopeia. They're gonna back away. Oh. They can't make up their mind for sure. <laughs> Digging the hex flash on the Shen there, that actually got that taunt off on the Twitch. It's pretty cool. Oh, Camille goes over the wall, and Camille gets the steal and gets out! No way! I'm done. Oh my god. Great poorly play from played. IRL, very poorly played from hashtag slashers. And uh yes, I can't believe that. Wow. He gets out with the with the black shields. Vladimir even altered that. Pog champ, CBT. That was so poorly played by Hash, it wasn't even funny. They still need to look to extend their leads. They're currently just watching things happen. Yeah, they could definitely be more proactive, uh I don't know how like what their AD carries, their main AD carries role is in like shot calling and stuff, but I don't know how, like Little Groot was like, a, used to be a master player, so I'm assuming he's like smart enough to uh, do shot calling. I hope so. But Oppose is also like the leader of his, was was the leader of his respective team, so. They could easily five man bot, which is flash is still down. Yeah, Nocturne they think that would be the best him. play. Orin and uh, Orin Ulti and TP are both up. So Papa Chulo will have will have the uh, reaction to that if they go for that play. Oh, and here's a Hextech ultimatum in the mid lane. Zoe has no flash, can't get out of that ultimatum and just gets taken out. Giving Camille the, uh, Cassiopeia the second kill of the game for her. And the new mid jungle duo for IRL is uh, performing pretty decently in their first start. Nocturne definitely needs to start uh, looking to push his advantage top, though. Nothing's getting done. Yeah, he's 3 0 3, but he's the same level as Camille, so is he really stronger? Not really. If he's not I mean, using he'll, it. he'll win the 1v1 anytime. The problem is he's not doing anything with his lead. He's not pushing in the wow. middle, getting vision. Yeah, not looking at the. the uh, Looking at this XP from the bot laners, this Shen or the uh, Vladimir is up a, a whole level and a half over this Twitch. Yeah, that's actually insane. Twitch is almost level nine. Vlad just at level ten, so a little bit over a level, a whole level on this uh, marksman. At this point, Nocturne can go to any lane and make something happen. He's not. He doesn't need his ultimate to make something happen. He's waiting every time for his cooldown. Yeah, he can get a kill in every single lane. 
And this Twitch Walk still has no point. flash. Switch yeah. Twitch's flash is just about to come up, and they're not going to punish that in time. I'm just saying, if uh, they keep this up, they're just giving IRL the win. Yeah, because uh, they're on a timer for sure. Like Casio and Twitch late game is going to be super, super good. And here comes Nocturne going in the bot lane. Morgana just gets one shot, and here comes the Vladimir ulti as well, the Hemo Plague. Twitch is getting down super low. Vladimir has the queue up in a second, and oh, he just barely survives, but Dax Reaper's on the side looking for that. But here comes Kyoshi with the Forge God, and Dax Reaper flashing that way. Okay, interesting. In the meantime, Forge God is going to come through, and Twitch is super low, but he's going to survive. Orin comes in and cleans up the Vladimir, and Shen's going to have to dash away using that flash. I don't know if he'll actually survive, though, because here's the Pillar of Flame coming through, and that's three kills for IRL. That was... I'd botched play. Botched if play. If you're gonna pass. use the Shin ultimate on the Nocturne, he needs to stay and tank the turret so Black can win. Yeah. Instead, he left him with way more than enough HP. If he was just gonna ult the Nocturne, he needed to ult the Vlad instead. Like, if it's the Vlad, or the Nocturne's gonna keep diving. Yeah. So no point of that. And they're gonna get the bot turret. And Cassiopeia is just saving that top tower of their own. So they're gonna get the tower trade off of this play. And uh, things are looking pretty good for IRL right now. Twitch may be 0 and 3, but it's not going to matter once he gets the second item. Yeah, he got a full level of XP from that, so he is the same level now as the Vladimir. And uh, I think this early game now has just been negated off that one play. Oh yeah, the goal differential is now 600. He's got a 2k. Yeah, big gold swing. Yeah. Ash, disappointing. Nocturne going death blade, that's actually not gonna do anything because he's gonna go in and just get in tilt. He might go one for one, but it's not gonna matter. He has to be able to survive the first combo of some of the teams. So what do you recommend in this case for the Nocturne? I mean he should have definitely went Tiamat and to He should have went Tiamat Warrior into Steric Gauge this game so he could go in and live. Oh, okay. But he's wasting his time with all the XP. All the gold that he had is basically useless now. Yeah. He's gonna do more damage than him and be able to one v one him because he's not building correctly. And we haven't talked about the Rift Herald at all this game, but Nocturne certainly had a chance to go grab that for like the first 20 minutes. Yeah, he definitely had a chance to do a lot of things. Yeah. Decided that not farming Grom was more important. And meanwhile, IRL, they are five manning at this Rift Herald objective, and they're gonna catch out the Darius. Here comes the Spray and Pray. Uh, never mind, he didn't use that, but Camille with the true damage is going to get that kill on the Darius and uh, after burning the flash too, so. Funny Three that, kills. Uh, the other four members are just sitting in mid. Oh. Yeah, they're sitting in mid with the Forge God waiting for them to get to get uh, hit up with Camille fainting the uh, engage. Doesn't quite go for it. Papa Chulo. Yeah, Darius is still dead. Uh, Dragon's up at 16, you said? Yeah, it's going to be. Uh, it's gonna be an ocean dragon. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty helpful, helping them survive this early to mid game. Yeah. At this point, uh, if Hash doesn't make something happen in the next five minutes, they lose. And here they go with the Shed Tonum onto the Orn. Who is not gonna use the ulti on top of? They're gonna go on the Orn still, and uh. Cassio's gonna get hit by the bubble, but she has the cleanse. Will she use that? Doesn't need to. Shen's gonna taunt the Morgana. Here comes the Hextech ultimatum and the plague. And so much stuff is happening right now, and this just IRL are cleaning house right now. They take down two people. They're not coordinated at all currently. Camille's gonna get taken out with a dunk, and here comes Freshburger. What can he do right now? He's got two dunks. He takes out the Orn too. So Freshburger's saving that fight, but it's still four for two for for IRL. Yeah, Hash is just lost. They have no communication going into fights. Everyone's running around like just scurry little ants. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah. This is Twitch, to watch, Twitch was not threatened at all in that fight. He's not going to be. They have no dive because Nocturne built incorrectly. So Nocturne can go in, but he still won't even destroy the Twitch right off the bat. Yeah, it feels bad, man. Vlad can't one-shot those uh, minions with his E because that E nerf. Yeah. This is uh, looking really bad for Hash now. Yeah, despite the score on the Twitch, he's probably feeling pretty good about himself. Uh, he's about 500 gold off the Runans. That'll be a pretty good spike for him. What did Morgana max? What did she, she max? max? 
She's maxing her. Yeah, she got three shield. points in binding and then got four points in the black shield. It's really smart. It actually keeps the switch alive. Yeah, because the um, there's not a lot of physical damage from Flat or Zoe, so and Shen for that matter. So you can you can prevent that shield from going down with that larger value shield. And here comes a Forge God. He's gonna go into a pose in here, but he's just gonna use that pool. And uh, Forge God for a pool. I'll take the, the take that trade for for hash. I feel like there's not 30 seconds that goes by without some kind of engage happening from one of the teams, and <laughs> it's botched almost every time. Opposing has no pool though, and he's gonna get engaged on. Cassiopeia flashes away with the Hextech ultimatum on him, or the pool rather. But here comes Camille and Orange, so tanky right now. Not enough damage on the hash side. Darius is coming for the flank though from behind. How are they gonna go about this way? Here comes the bubble, not gonna hit. Which is in the top lane right now, so just soaking up the XP and getting extra farm. Yeah, uh, level 12 right now. From the Cassiopeia to keep herself alive for the beginning of the fight. She actually uh, stunned the Nocturne. Yeah, good flash and a uh, good black shield from Nahor to Poppy to get that protection on. Zoe, not hitting too hard on the uh, orange. Oh. Oh, wow. Nahor almost getting hit by that bubble, but here comes Twitchy. He's got the spray and pray. And here they go. Here comes Camille with the ultimatum. He's trying to, oh, he tried to use it, but he got black shielded. Shen ulted, I mean. Camille's looking for it now. Here comes the ultimatum, and bam, takes out the Zoe, but Vlad flashes in. In the meantime, Twitch is going to flash in. He doesn't do quite enough damage currently. Oh, Vlad misses his E. And here's another kill coming onto the Twitch. That's a double kill. In the top lane, though, Freshburger, one stack away from the max stacks. He's not going to flash. Doesn't have flash. Just kiting the Cassiopeia right now. Cassiopeia's and he's in a sticky yeah. situation. Here's the Forge. Got him. Kaboom. No stacks on the orange, he can't dunk him. He's gonna get taken out. This is a bloodbath right now. We're at 31 Gosh. kills. 31 kills at 24 minutes. That was the wonkiest Forge God I've ever seen though, because the second <laughs> proc of it, he missed completely and it still went off. He went like 180 degrees on that. Was that was an obtuse good. angle. Yeah, he hurt my neck watching that. <laughs> my neck! My back. <laughs> I don't think that song's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> this uh is not going well though. The gold lead is slowly. I don't even know if I want to say slowly. It, it's kind of actually quickly going into IRL's favor. Yeah, up only 1,000. IRL is picking hard for that engage, but here comes Vlad. And, oh, he's gonna one shot the Morgana, but the Black Shield will actually save her life. Opposed is going to get the heal off, but here comes the rest of IRL. And Zoe can't do anything about that. Opposed is going to get taken down for his fifth death of the game. And uh, maxing out the Black Shield, saving his life, along with the healthy, uh, health oriented build with the Rhylize. And this Twitch is just split pushing, but here's Nocturne with the Paranoia. Going to get that Duskblade proc, but I don't know if. Oh, the fear comes through. That fear uh, saved his life right there. The fear is the only way Nocturne can go Twitch. If yeah. he has that Black Shield, it's over. But he is doing the build Bork Runance, i.e. for Twitch. So and he just got soon. double BF sword on that back right there. Yeah, pretty soon he's just gonna actually one shot the Nocturne whenever he comes in. <laughs> Before he even oh, comes in, he's gonna auto him twice and he's gonna start yeah. to die. <laughs> he crosses the R and hits him on his way in. He Nocturne will literally die in two shots because of his build. Yeah, so these members of uh, Hashtag and Slashers are gonna have to buy a Randuins pretty soon. Oh. Or they're gonna feel, but oh, the hook! Followed by another hook, followed by the ultimatum. And Darius gonna look for that ultimate, but he can't get in range because he's bound up! And there's a lot of bleed coming through, and Darius might get taken down, but Shen definitely gets taken down. Darius will survive. Two poppies Darius. gonna look for their Blake, his old teammate. But here comes Camille. Darius actually messed up there. He continued to focus the Cassiopeia, who was obviously out of reach, and. If he would have went on the Camille, he could have just auto attacked her once and possibly gotten the R reset on it. Oof. And here are IRL taking the third dragon for themselves in this game. Twitch is now 400 gold away from buying that Infinity Edge. Yeah. 
This game is over for Hash. They have to somehow one shot Twitch like literally every single fight. It's it's no, they, they can't even. That is. I don't anymore. think it's possible it's anymore. It's too late. Cassiopeia is scaled up. She's gonna have enough damage to do like completely destroy in team fights. And Camille is very far ahead now. In yeah. Turn. And Nocturne's still building incorrectly. He's going Ghost Blade, which actually doesn't make any sense at all because he's not going to be able to one shot anybody. Yeah, he's not far enough ahead anymore. Twitch isn't even in team fights, so he's not going to be able to do it. Oh, here comes the Spray and Pray, but the Vladimir's going to use the spell via Spellbinder. Twitch is still going ham against. Oh, oh my god, he kills. He one shots the guy. Nocturne's going to try to get that kill, but he couldn't get an auto attack oh, range. Here. Even with the Shen ultimate, and the fear was avoided by the Black Shield, so this game is just looking harsh for Hash. And Freshburger, gonna get run down by the Cassio. He can't do anything about it with his Black Shield. First pick Morgana is just coming in super good handy. Oh, good sidestep. And yeah, nice sidestep. Freshburger can't do anything against the Cassiopeia. Oh, Wait, he's gonna live. Forward, he walked backwards <laughs> for no reason. Wow, uh, Cassio's gonna look for it. He has the flash, and there he goes with the grounded. That's such a waste. Yeah, he's he wanted to get that kill super badly because that was kind of an embarrassing escape from him. What does Asterius even have to make him so tanky like that against Here, Cassio? Yeah, he's got yeah. That's a pretty good amount of magic resist. Plus, Cassio just finished for the injuries after that back. Or wait, no, yeah. That and IRL that doing Baron now, 28-25 in the game, and that's gonna be uh secured. Easy enough yeah. with the Infinity Edge Twitch. There's, I'm telling you, there is no hope for this hash to come back. They, they can't team fight. They can't pick. The Darius pick actually was not good at all into the torn. They didn't snowball with it. They didn't snowball so, the lane. Yep, really, big I mean, problems it there. The pick, it was more of execution Clipper and Dax refusing to bully the Orn. Yeah, you can, you can definitely chunk out the Orn in lane and then go back for a dive and look at this bot lane difference now the Vlad is two levels down on this twitch and look at the crits oh my god he just killed him in four auto attacks and the extermination oh, he could he could late game he's either gonna go static shift right here for the 100 crit or he's gonna go storm major yeah oh i god. actually I, I don't know how good storm major would be as like a last item or like a fourth item on an ad carry well, you're getting it for. Like, he's playing. You play Twitch as an assassin. Which, oh, okay. Once you get to. Once oh, you get but to here comes the spray and pray. And he's gonna play him as of just a, a. Yeah, just an assassin right there. With the black shield, you can't do anything about it. This poison's taking some power to targeting him. Because he hit <laughs> uh, Darius with the. Yeah. Rune and Spark. But. That's what you. On Twitch, you just wanna play it passive and then go in. And Twitch is low and he's gonna go in. And he's not gonna kill the Twitch. Twitch flashes away. And Shen gets uh, blocked, so Twitch is gonna get, yeah, Twitch will get taken down, but at what cost? As Vlad goes in on the Cassio, Cassio is dead, 100%. Adam's doing so much damage, but it's on one target. Yeah, Vlad never been in a position to actually one shot a whole team, and IRL looking for the end of the game right here. Oh, opposing with the attempt to kill two Poppy, but you can't kill your daddy. He's it's gonna... actually sad. Opposing's not playing that bad right now. It's the decision making from the teammates. They aren't doing anything with their team comp. Yeah, and they're really, really uh, sidetracked. They don't seem to be on the same page at all, but Camille is going ham. The bubble's gonna land on the Orn, but they don't care. The Orn is so tanky. Camille is actually tanking that turret. So the Nexus is open now, but oh, that was almost a sick Q uh, star by the Zoe. Now the Orn is totally gonna get taken out here. Give Darius that kill, but no. Nah, Nocturne's gonna grab that up. Not enough true damage from Darius. There's uh, two wards on the map right now for Hash. So, actually, one ward now. Vision control, A. Dick Black, Nate the Great. I can't talk. English is hard at, uh, at midnight. Yeah, it kind of is. After so you make shot calling hard for three hours. Who in GA? Twitch? Oh, uh, that's, that's solid. I don't honestly I don't, think that's worth though. I don't think you. I don't think you even need any more damage right now. I don't think that's, that's how I feel. Though. He's so farmed up right now. He's level sixteen. Like his stats are so high right now. 
Like I think if you get if you die to GA, like no, like the, the other members of Hash will just die before you even come back up. So like there's, you're not really gonna die again. I mean, it's like it'll save you. I'm pretty sure it's like a it's viable like choice. You, it is, but he doesn't need it. He doesn't necessarily need it. That's true. He can just one shot three of their teammates if he would have went Static Shiv or Stormraiser. Yeah, that's also a possibility. They're not. They don't. Hash doesn't have engage. Oh, but here he goes. And uh, yep, you're dead. <laughs> well, I'm playing against Twitch. Yeah, as Nocturne, especially if you can't one shot him. So Secret is uh, making his mark here in Prophecy Cup in his first game. And uh, Morale now in the Cassiopeia, gonna get stunned up by the Shen, but Shen has no follow up. But here comes Darius, pulls in the minion. Forge God is down. They are, gonna, they are gonna continue to chase. This is just for show at this point. This game is over. Camille walks into the fountain because of the taunt, but it's gonna be over at 32 minutes, 48 kill game. Crazy first game of the series. Well, like it was said in the draft phase, Hash had to win mid game. They had to start putting pressure. Nocturne needed to get fresh burger ahead and just watched and farmed his jungle. Decision making from the Nocturne, I think, cost the game. But well played from CBT. He applied pressure where needed and didn't go top lane like he was supposed to not go. Very well done. <laughs> yeah, and I think uh, Hash definitely had the tools to win this game. They were up in gold. They had a huge advantage bot lane. Uh, they had a winning match up top, and mid laner's doing just fine. They had a huge Nocturne, but they didn't get anything <coughs> out of that. Nocturne snowballing. He had a good KDA, I'll give him that, but it really actually didn't matter. He didn't shoot and make any of the right decisions. If he would have put pressure top, allowed Darius to take towers and split push on his own, and then worked with the Vlad Shin that was winning lane as well, they could have easily snowballed the game and pushed any team fight before Twitch could get items. Because Switch was far behind. He had to actually farm side lanes for a long time, for a good 10 minutes before he even came back and helped the team. Yeah, and that Twitch got snowballed so fast after they could not push that advantage. It wasn't that they couldn't, it was they chose not to. That was the sad part. Yeah, pretty much. It was just purely execution from the side of hash thinking slashers. And then when they did try to make decisions, it was one by one by one going in and dying to three people. It was very uncoordinated. Yeah, if they had those good engages, it, you know, their composition definitely had, like, had the tools. Well, let's see if they can clean it up next game. Next, I think they really need to not pick an assassin jungler because I don't think his decision making is good enough for it. I think they need to put him on some sort of engage or disengage champion instead because going for the Nocturne I don't think is going to be worth for his team. Yeah, and I wonder if CBT jungle plays it because otherwise uh, they might have to ban it on red side here. Blood walk. What up, Joe? CBT's decision making, I think that he could get away with it, but I don't know. Nocturne yeah, I don't think he, I don't think he plays the Nocturne. Yeah, Nocturne not grabbing the Tiamat really hurt him, though, against Camille, because he won all he was doing was farming, and if he would have grabbed the Tiamat, his decision to farm wouldn't have hurt him as bad, because he could have went digging the farm twice as fast, and then went top lane and pushed, and then he would have a huge lead, that, or he, way bigger lead than he already had. Did Camille ever buy a, a Tiamat? No. Not oh, okay. I think she went Warrior to Triforce to uh, Steric Gauge, which isn't that bad because only because Nocturne made the wrong decision as well. Mm -hmm. So she didn't need to worry about him out farming her. She could just gank lanes, and he wasn't actually ganking enough for it to matter. Yeah, so let's see some adjustments from Hash Thinning Slash just coming into this game. Because they had, they had this tool stick success, but they didn't quite execute properly. I won't, I won't, I'm not on spectate. Whoops. My bad. Okay, there you go. And uh, IRL, they... They, uh... You know, had the scaling composition with the Ornn and the Hyper Carries and Casio and Twitch. 
so once they started winning these fights, once Twitch got those items, uh, Nocturne really couldn't do anything about that with the Morgana Black Shield. <clears throat> I think they definitely need to put more emphasis on uh, the lanes that they prioritize in the draft, though, for sure. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. Zin Zhao Band coming out from IRL. I mean, I guess to actually replace it. I mean, it makes sense because he can farm the jungle faster and gank, and he doesn't actually have to worry about going in alone as Nocturne with a poor build. Yeah, I don't see any Sin Shao games from this guy, actually. Are these the same bands as last time? Yeah. They're on the same side, too. I was wondering. I don't. I don't actually get why Opposin's team or Hash is uh, banning the Kaisa though. I mean, I get that Secret plays a lot of Kaisa, but it's just if you really don't like it, play Brand into it. Yeah, you can play it. You can play Vlad into it too. You can play Mordekaiser into it. Lucian, um, Lucian into it. Right now. I don't think it's worth the ban. There's also funneling strategies, which I don't know how much IRL I've practiced those, but Kaisa with funneling strategies basically just you win the game at 20 minutes. It doesn't matter how I far behind you are. See them actually doing a funnel strategy though. Not in Prophecy Cup. Apparently, uh, Fresh did not enjoy the Rylai's last game. Yeah, getting Darius and then having to play against a Morgana with Rylai's and a Cassio with Rylai's. Not sure about the Cassio ban. I don't think that was worth. Cassio actually didn't do much that game. It was worth the ban. Yeah. The Camille made a lot of great plays, and the Twitch and the Cassio capitalized on them. It was just good team play with Camille's decision making to where to be. Her pathing wasn't 100% sufficient, but I mean, she made good decisions on where to be. Yeah, and I think we're gonna pick. see Zyra Khan coming out from IRL. That's a really solid bottom lane. Morgana's banned too, so I don't know if I'm gonna I'm gonna hundred percent say that uh Zyra's coming off the ADC, but because you don't actually need Zaya with your con. Yeah, it is Secret's most played champion though. The new Zaya build is actually pretty good though. It's kind yeah, of the same. Storm Razor. Yeah, and a hurricane. The only issue die. is you have no C D R and it makes it feels pretty bad, but it's uh Well that's why people are doing the jungle Zaya with Rakan mid. So she gets the CDR off Warrior. Oh yeah. Interesting. And they're going with the first rotation fiddlesticks here, so pretty good to Rakan, like but uh, like Rakan can engage onto you, but at the same time if you're like in range, you can thwart that engage too. It's a little interesting. I think you get lane pressure early for sure. The way Hash gets this uh, draft back, because right now they they've lost the draft. If they lock this to the end, then Hash has lost the draft so far. They need to pick Oriana if Blink plays it right now. Oh, it's already banned actually. So they need to pick uh take the Orn away because they need CC in the top lane. They're gonna have to have it. If they don't, then they lose the draft. Yeah, and Freshburger known for his Orn, so it would be a good pick to take away from take away from Freshburger or to from Kiyoshi because we know yeah, Kiyoshi is going to play like a very really low oh, econ they tank the one, yeah they took the orange so really solid <laughs> decision there from the draft of IRL at this point I just don't see Hash's team comp flowing very well yeah they're just picking like strong sense. champs right now and the Zoe pick doesn't make any sense as well They've got some pick potential. Um, their 2v2 is pretty strong, but Talia right now is just nuts, and it's a flex pick, so... Let's see what the how the rest of the draft pans out for both of these teams. They can go Brand as ADC for Opposin, and that yeah. would actually not be bad. Yep, Opposin has played the Brand before. Uh, first couple weeks of the season he played it. And Take did beat IRL uh, in that game, I believe. I think that they. I'm not even sure. 
about the bands coming from each side right now because Aurelia doesn't make any sense. Aurelia's not going to do anything versus them. And are you picking, like, that, that's basically saying you're banning Aurelia top lane. Which, like, yeah, or Aurelia DC, top isn't I mean, that great. Yeah, it's true. But I don't see Aurelia doing well. It's really uncommon bot lane and top lane. It's, like, almost exclusively a mid lane pick. Yeah, unless I'm playing in the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> basically. So, if Hash is smart here, they'll ban the Mundo, because Mundo's really good into Ornn. But the, I just don't see that helping the cause very much. They banned Darius. Darius wasn't even a problem last game. Yeah. If they if they pick Mundo for Freshburger here, no. Nope. Oh, okay, so Swain can go bottom, so... It is all, it's technically a flex, but I think it's going to go bottom right here. Yeah, I don't like the draft for Hash at all. I think they are, they lost the draft right now. They can pick any AD carry. They can pick Lucian, and it'd be really good. Lucian would be really good. It's also Ezra really fun to play safe bot lane. That would scale your opponent. I don't think you need the other They're looking at the though. Yasuo. Yasuo Rakan's very good. Can lane go in either lane, but they picked Tristana, so... I don't recommend the Tristana pick. They're putting Secret on his like comfort champions, it seems, instead of oh, prioritizing what's meta. If they pick this Pike. Pike jungle ploggers? No. That'd be Rakan mid. Funnel strat? They do Rakan. I don't, don't see why you would funnel to Leah, though. Okay, <laughs> doing it. Funneling Tristana jungle? Xerath. Okay. So Xerath mid. Cool. Oh yeah, there's. For, I don't know why they're leaving Freshburger stop pick last. They really fucked up their draft. Oh, oh. he went. Okay, okay, so the flex pick. It's Swain top. Yeah, but so Tristana, not bad. Tristana Rakan. Actually, win. Lucian Fiddle should no, win that game. They, no, Rakan and Tristana should be able to push level one. And have Talia start top with Orn, and then yeah. they just all in level two, and that's how they win the lane right there. And yeah, they're all in level two is really really strong. It depends on how Fiddlesticks can pressure them level one though. That's what I'm saying. Fiddlesticks won't be able to because Graves is going to call for a leash, but Graves doesn't need a leash either. He should actually start top by himself. Yeah, I think top side is where you got to start. I think both junglers should start top side this game, but and not take a leash, uh, or Graves should not take a leash. Talia should. Because Graves can solo his red buff without taking any damage, like one or two autos. Yeah, for sure. But I just don't see this working for Hash. Orin does not do poorly into Swain at all. Like, it's actually a decent matchup because he can just shield all the damage. He's just so tanky. Yeah. Zerath into Zoe. Zoe can get the push on him the first couple levels, but then Zerath just out shoves Zoe the whole time. And he took Clint, so they really don't have a lot of chance to actually make picks on the Zerath. And then bot lane, if Lucian and Fiddlesticks don't get level 2 first and actually poke them down, then Tristan is just going to outscale Lucian as well. So, again, the draft for Hash is very lackluster. Yeah, and if Tristana and Rakan can get that uh, level 2 fight on there, uh, if you start Dorian's Blade on Tristana, your E with 4 autos will do roughly like 20 more damage than it used to so they almost it's not bad kill. especially on fiddlesticks <laughs> fiddle is so squishy yeah hmm graves and talia isn't even a good matchup either because her q is longer than your auto attack range <laughs> talia is just so disgusting right now yeah it's actually pretty scary like, the only reason why we're not seeing it in pro play is because it's literally, like, you're not allowed to take Smile to Leah. Uh, there's, a, there's, a game, there's a game-breaking bug. Oh, you can now? Yeah, they will be able to this week. Ooh, okay. Last week, they were still on the last patch, so they weren't allowed to. They're on a new patch now. 8.12? Yeah. Well, not the patch of today, but they're on last yesterday's patch. Or the day before, whatever, before uh -huh. eight point twelve. I just, I'm very uh, disappointed in the draft from Ash. It's got some good champions, but it's as a unit, 
Yeah, it's pretty solo queue. Hash has more of the or, uh, IRL has more of that two carry style. The uh, tank top. It's gonna be that's gonna be what you're gonna always pick with the IRL. Once when you have Kyoshi and Nahor, you'll have a pretty standard composition. Honestly, I think that's good right now. I think having a tank top is decent because the tanks that are really good right now are almost unkillable. Mundo. Mundo is just ridiculous right now. Once he gets two <laughs> items, he's almost unkillable. It's sad. Really insane. Yo, shout out to Kathy Star. Thanks for the follow. Opposing number one. He played pretty well in that game. Unfortunately, they couldn't transition their leads. Well, it's going to be up to Dax again to try to make something happen. But this game, he can't go top. He needs to basically just snowball bot lane. And I'll have Fiddlesticks come up into the red side jungle with him to put pressure. And then they can cheese mid with the Fiddlesticks as well. Because you can't cleanse a fear and a silence. <laughs> yeah, IRL have another like late game scaling comp with their carries. Tristana and uh, Zerath. So... With Lucian and Zoe, you want to use that advantage you have with one or two items. But Zerath is actually really good with one item. After sure you get that Luden spike? Yes. It's not too he bad. Really there. long range, so. But Quite long range. He is just so much better than Graves right now. And I think Graves actually needed to go electrocute this game with Precision Secondary. Huh. Because his only chance of ever killing Zoe isn't to stay on her with fleet footwork, because she's not going to be able to keep up with her. She's just going to queue him down and run away. He needs oh. to be able to burst her. It's interesting. I've never, I've never seen a, or I rarely see the electric graves, but it makes yeah, it's, sense. Uh, only in certain matchups and certain team comps. Like yeah. uh, I don't know, I don't want to lie into the wrong jungler, but one of the LCK, LCK junglers, he did um, actually the graves with electric queue into the Yitarik in one of those matches and they won the game really hard because before you could get Tarik that he would just one shot him with Electrocute. Oh, nice. Good adaptation there. It's uh, about your only chance in certain matchups on Graves right now because he, other matchups are so good into him right now. Like Nocturne? Nocturne's really good. Nocturne shits on Graves. Or language, but <laughs> he destroys Graves. Whatever. It's late night league. Yeah. He uh, destroys Graves because Graves' auto attack range and dash range doesn't get out of the fear. Oh yeah, damn. And then he can just run you down. Even if you dash E, you can still be feared. You still chase him. But yeah, it's not even fair. Nocturne destroys him. Can you and explain why you. I can still get feared while I'm in my stopwatch? Uh, because I hate it that. doesn't break the tether. I hate that so much. Please the only change way that. Is by breaking the tether. It's the same thing as if you, um, what's it called? Oh jeez. Oh wow. Oh, look blade. at that damage. You have to recall now. The same thing now. is if you're Elise. So if Elise, if you jump up into the your repel, you're sh you're still gonna get feared or drained or whatever. It doesn't break it. Mid lane is just screwed right now. He just took another Q damage. Poor Zoe. Oh, Grave started top, but he didn't need the leash. And Talia started off. Look at this. Good path. Good pathing choices from both junglers right now. But Talia is automatically going to the scuttle, which isn't very good. Oh, nope. She's going into Graves' jungle to take his red. But he's there. Oh, level 2 jungle fights already. And it looks like uh, IRL have a slight advantage in the push and bot lane. Looks like Talia is just going to kill him. Wait, Dax is just letting himself die, basically, but mid lane TP2, there's the Paddle Star. Boop! Still like half his HP. It's a pretty good trade from Blake. Blake came back from that start pretty well. He has Ignite, too, so. So Graves should actually not go into his blue right now. He should go oh. straight to the enemy jungler's red. Hash hit two first, but they didn't go for any play. So oh, wow. Going on. Fiddle, used, Fiddle used both of his skills. Hey, I think they can go in. The, they can't see what's Oh, going on. God! I'm tired, guys. Well, there, at least we got the cast going. It but... should be. There you go. So wait, no, Graves. What are you doing? Graves. He wards the red instead of taking it. It was a wow. free take. Oh, he's There's mid. the Zerath though. Zerath has to use flash 100%. Graves having the fleet footwork did nothing for him right there. <laughs> Thank you. 
Grace's Zax's decision making is very, very poor in the jungle right now. He's pathing. Instead of taking the scuttle crab, he should have went straight to the red and taken uh Kalia's red. And then moved to the scuttle, and then he could have taken his blue and he would add a huge XP advantage. Yeah, both junglers uh still level two. Actually Graves just hit three, Tilia just hit three, so kind of a slower leveling up by these junglers, I would say. But Talia's going bot lane and Lucian just dashed in. Three flashes burned right there. Uh, two poppies trying to flash W and then both bot laners having to flash. So very easy follow-up ganks from Talia moving forward. And Graves actually can't even come gank them right now because there's no hard CC for them to kill anybody. And you're just blue the flash only on Rakan. So he can just dash away. He has three dashes technically with his W. W and two for his E. So ganking them as Graves is going to be really useless. So now he's got to only try to kill his Zerath. This is his only play. Is there any way that he could go top and kill them? Kill the Orn? I don't think Swain has the damage, even with Graves right now. Yeah, at this point in the game. Yeah, Swain's early game is kind of weak. Yeah, I think the Swain pick is really bad. He's like, this is a full combo. <laughs> it did about 86 damage. And now Swain has no mana. Yeah, it's, it's impossible. Yes. York may beat Orn, but he doesn't win games. Just yeah. saying, Ash. <laughs> oh! The Ignite was overzealous there. Yeah. Interesting uh, all in there. Opposing played that pretty well. Dodge just out of that range. Uh -oh. oh, they're going Jeez. back for it. Oh, he, <laughs> he actually dodged it. Rakan's oh, dead. dead. Rakan got first blood though. Tristana can still win this. Oh, what? No, actually, Lucian's. Lucian's Lucian got no dash win. and flash. Yeah. No flash, actually. Lucian had mana, Tristana did not. Yep. That was well played by both sides, to be honest. But then Tristana just needed a run instead of having to blow her flash. I can't tell if Puff Nasty actually purposely just like dodged the Rakan W like that. Oh no, it was an accident. But he stood still that there was fear. Or he walked He walked forward in front of it and then feared the Rakan. That was pretty cool. But Dax Reaper is gonna get caught out here and uh, here comes the Zareth ultimate. He's gonna dodge all three shots. It's a good dodge there from Dax Reaper. His decision making though is very tilting to watch. <laughs> Needs to be improved. Oh, I did not notice that Zerath took dematerializer. Dematerializer. Yeah, it's pretty good for increasing your wave clear. I would say. Swain still hasn't back yet. Gray needs to come up there and help him get a back off. See, right now he's just wasting time. 50 CS without a back. Yeah, he's not gonna one v one this guy. He has a mana. He has mana for literally one more Q. Yeah. Graves, nose to lead, not time. Oh, the drowsy hits. He's got to cleanse it away. He should go straight to her blue and take it. But again, he doesn't. He's going to his red, being very safe. He needs to stop picking carry junglers if he's going to play so safe. It's hurting his team. So Juani's pretty good right now. She's not bad. Do you agree? Has witnessed in last game. <laughs> I think Swain has to recall right now. Yeah, he has to. If he doesn't go back, he's just hurting himself. Oh, here comes the Rakan engage, but he just gets feared immediately and then tethered <laughs> up by the fear, the outplay. They actually can't even kill them yet. They need to stop trying to engage until his ignites back up. Tristana has a uh, BF sword, but Lucian's got that bilge water, so. Oh, Lucian just is sick. He should go for an all in. Oh, he should right here. Why is he playing so safe? He knows they don't have stuff. No. But there's Talia, so they gotta watch out. No bush control right now. They don't have any bush control at all. And there's an all-in from the top laner. There's gonna be a gank now from Dax Reaper. Orange looking for the uh looking for that dash away. Doing a similar thing to what he did last time. Actually, no, he's just gonna int. It's I don't okay. understand Kyoshi's decision. Every time he gets ganked, he runs two. He runs minutes. away. Oh. <laughs> Oh, but here comes Illusion, opposing taking out the Talia, and here comes the Culling. 
Can he get one more kill? I don't think so. There's going to be two members going down, but pretty solid turnaround by Opposin, even though it is a two really for one. And uh, morale counter. in the bot lane. This Graves, though, just now going to take the blue buff away from Julia. Yeah. After securing that kill. For to this be honest, lane. he should sit in the bush right here and just bush wookie her. But instead, he's going to I like away. it. Because he's, he's stronger in a 1v1 if he gets that. Uh, the cheese the off? cheese yeah. off. 100%. But he's choosing not to. He knew Zoraeth was backing and wasn't going to be there. He knew that Zoe was mid lane. He could have called her over. Tristana now 2 0 1 with the Berserker Greaves. I like the Berserker Greaves rush. It actually gives her more damage than rushing the back damage item. Yeah, I think rushing a Z item kind of sucks. He's going to go the uh, Storm Razor, it looks like. This is a really good Infernal rush if they continue to go on it too. Talia is there with Flash up. Let's see what happened last game. They're going to get it. Talia does not use that Flash to get over the wall. Because if she goes, she's dead. Not very uh, <laughs> on par. Oh, the, 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 never mind. I thought Puff was getting caught, but that was just Lucian there. Just a lot of uh, fighting, so you're always expected. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a crazy game so far. Relatively. All in, looking for another fight again. Oh, I like the bubble there, but here comes Tristana with the hop in. Does not care at all. Oh. That was a really good W by uh, Talia. Late heal though by Posen. Oh, and in the mid lane, actually, Zoe solo kills uh, Morale. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, didn't, did not catch that because they play bot lane. Talia's doing very well with the gank bot lane right now, but Graves is doing nothing to. Oh. Oh, bad combo there by Two Poppy, but they're gonna get the kill anyways. It looks like Tristana with the rampage, opposing. Oh, he looked for it. Come on, Blake. Oh, he wastes his Q too early. Blake's gonna get chunked out. Opposing gets the. Oh man, opposing now is red buff, but no mana. That was a really good rotation from Blake. Very poorly executed though with his Q being yeah. wasted like that. If he just held his Q for one more second and then used it, he could have easily gotten a double kill. Mr. Stun is getting so fed right now. And in the top lane, we're seeing some uh, sort of agency now from the Swain to be able to butt, oh, burst out this guy. This is where Graves rotates top lane and actually tower dives him. Before yeah. Tali. He knows that Tali is back, but now she's going to be there. Or he comes for the counter gank, but he's going to get stunned right here. Wow. Oh, just no one. ultimate though. And there's Talia. Talia's gonna kill him. Just... Talia can ride the wall. Yeah. Oh, Fiddlekick! Ah! He gets speared <laughs> up with the Ignite and the Tether. Fiddlestick's gonna one shot the guy! Ah, oh, gets out alive. Oh, and now Swain's gonna use the ultimate to tower dive. Not enough damage though, and oh, Freshburger. Taking that last tower shot. Ooh. <laughs> Download complete? Question mark? Up here, I just learned that Fiddle Sticks is uh... a. <laughs> he, he summons the birds! His ultimate's called Crow Storm, but to T Crank, it's. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! That's the sound it makes! I can't! It's just. I can't! <laughs> that was so crazy. Fiddle almost one shot that Talia there, but. He did. Not he quite enough. Has a vagine and did not want wow, to these more. Rakan dodges have been crazy this game. I don't blink they're gonna get Rakan ultied. And uh, I think he's gonna get taken down here. Yeah, there's the electrocute auto attack. You know, what's funny is Zoe had vision of all of them over at the Raptor camp. Wow, you're right. How? Oh my gosh. Maybe, people, maybe they're tired, maybe they're tilted. Maybe they shouldn't schedule their match at 11 and 10. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Ooh, the Storm Razor rush on Tristana. Yeah, I think that is, uh, it's good. It's better than anything else you'd buy with the BF Sword first. There's the 200 damage crit with the fleet footwork. I'd probably just build, uh, go, I mean, Lethal Tempo, right? That'd be solid. 
Oh, look at that burst damage. And there's the calling coming through. Two poppies gonna get the knock up on the. Oh, wow, the, the Grease Ulti Ulti missed. Ooh, and 10 out of 10 stopwatch. You're just counting your time down to your death and giving that kill to a pose for free. Of the stopwatch, for sure. Yeah. Who were you saying about lethal tempo? Uh, Tristana potentially. Oh, Crow Storm! Kaka once again! No, that's Aaliyah! He gets taken out. <laughs> Kaka! Uh. On the Tristana, I don't know if actually, I don't think it would be that decent because you're oh. not standing still long enough. Zerath ultimate, can he get that kill? But Tristana jumps in anyways, he's gonna jump back out with the reset too. Dax is hurting my eyes. He's making Graves look like a bad champion. <laughs> my eyes! <laughs> Blake's making Zoe look like a bad champion too this game. With the Qs. <laughs> I didn't know they nerfed her Q as well. Yeah, rip. Would they nerf this patch? Just her W? I'm pretty sure it was just a W, but he's making it look like it was her Q. Well, any nerf to her RNG will make me feel better, because that's like the worst shit to play against. Oh, it wasn't to her RNG, it was just to her damage, that's all. What? It was only like 15 damage to on her W. What the hell? Her W is her, uh, like, item thing, right? Yeah, but it does damage whenever you use a summoner spell or, um... Oh, item. what the heck? It does three Did not know that, but here comes Talia with the Weaver's Wall, and Zareth's gonna get that stun on, and boop, you're dead. And here comes Freshburger with the TP. Where are you going with the TP? Now you're dead again. Oh god. Tilt is happening for hashtag slashers. I don't even think it's tilt. There's I no other way. Just... I think they just gave up. Oh, oh that was oh. really well played. Good combo there. Opposin is trying this his hardest right now to win this game, but Opposin he's can, he can not... do this. Oh, he didn't weave his auto attacks well there, but he got the kill in the end. Doesn't need to weave his autos whenever he, he should call it. this wave mid lane. He needs to take it. It doesn't matter if he just R's it. Oh, yeah, looks like he just farm it. But here's Tristana. Boo! You're jumping in. You're gonna get, 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 get that free crit. Oh, he's dead. Still. And you're dead. dead. Oh, that was close. That was yeah. really close. I thought you were gonna pull a full umpire move right there. And you're out of here. <laughs> nah. Tony the Tiger is coming out too. You're great! Oh, oh there's Kaka! Tristana gets the flash away, or jab away though, and Rakan's gonna die. But there's no more CC for Tristana, oh. and sick combo there from Secret. Very well played from her. Seventh kill of the game with the R ultimate for the fourth proc, so ton of damage right there. Difference in 80 carries in the game. <laughs> I think Opposin's playing alright. I'm not saying This game not is not his fault at all. I'm not saying it is. He's still really going in. Jungle. It's the difference between Tristana and Graves. <laughs> marksman difference. My bad, it's Marksman now. Marksman difference. It is, I think honestly, if I don't know if Dax is a new addition to Hash, but if he is... He's he's not new, no. This is, um, I don't know, I, I think he played... Let's see... Hmm. I forget how long he's been on the team. He's been on the team, though, for at least more than one week. Well... I'm just gonna say, he's gonna have to step it up and stop playing these carry champions. He can't do it. What are his most played champions right now in solo queue? Let's take a look. I don't even know what he is ranked in solo queue. He's ranked D5. Well, that could be why. And, uh, let's see, Fresh Burger. Wait, maybe? I think his name is Da Reaper. Oh, Da Reaper, okay. Da X Reaper X. Yeah, I think that's what his name is, is Da Reaper. Ah. Dax. We've been calling him Dax this whole time. <laughs> Makes more sense. So, but here comes the Forge God. It's gonna knock up that Swain. At least in one trick, but here's a fight happening. Pref Nasty's just totally dead. And uh, Dax, the Reaper, he takes the uh, Rift Heralds. Talia flashes forward, not gonna get that kill. Here comes the uh, Arcane Assault again, the Xerath. Followed by the Seismic Shove. Kills for days. Yeah, I IRL taking happen. over. Yeah, Hash is just falling apart. Hash right are now. just done. This Tristana is already two items. Like, she is already late game. Yeah. But Reaper is actually a mid lane main, it looks like, though. He plays more mid lane than he does jungle. <laughs> that could be why his pathing is very in insufficient. Yeah, they used to have uh, Adam Goodman in the mid lane. He used to be a jungle main. That's so they had I can the see wrong the roles. Lies. 
be camping for days. But now Hide on Blake is a mid late. He's uh he's solid for his rank. He's like plat three, but he's like uh he's worth his points. It's, I wouldn't even blame I honestly wouldn't blame anyone on the team besides the jungler. He's not playing he's not he's not playing well and oh, he's not picking And here they go, they're gonna go for that Tristana who she has no hop but she has the flash available. I don't think this is... Can Tristana turn this? He has the Orin coming in with the teleporter. Nice TP from him, but this Crow Storm is going to get the fear on Tristana. Can't get away. Can't flash away. Papa Chulo, he's going to just teleport into his death. He had no Forge God, actually, so not a good TP, I would say. A bit of a cocky idea to turn that. I think he baited the Tristana with that TP as well. Yeah, he she got you baited. <laughs> CBT Chulo. jungle. Oh, Seismic Shove, but no... Uh, no ground there. Gets the ground off now, but the red buff while you're bubbled. <laughs> That's funny. The buff nasty has to run away from the Xerath ultimate and he can't do it. His legs are not, does not move fast enough, but here comes Rakan. Ooh, nice. Oh, he gets the third charm. Oh, she's But, uh, Gray's gonna get dead. taken down. Swain is feeling pretty useless right here. Opposing trying his hardest, but here comes the Talia, and here comes the Swain with the, with the Nova. But boom, oh, it's taken time. out. Freshburger trying, he can't really do anything. He's just getting kited out. And, oh god. She threw him a mile. So threw him away like garbage. She was taking out the garbage. Taking out the trash at night. Well, that was a stale burger. It was left out. For a few <laughs> Make it again. And uh... Yeah, IRL now up 7,000 gold, even a bigger snowball than last game. Tristana now has a QSS, so no more fears for him. I mean, there's the hope for Hash. There's trying to stay biased here. You just can't. Oh, the Tristana wants it. Oh. oh, almost gets the one shot. He's gonna look for it. He has the calling up in like one second. He's gonna have the extra movement speed too if he hits it. And he gets it and oh he just dodged it, but he has the flash. What is it? Dash? Just back up. I don't know. I was not sure. Reaper, what are you doing? Oh, he tried his hardest there. Opposing nice dodges. Opposing is playing out of his mind right now. It's just sad it's not good enough because they don't have a jungler. Yeah, the substitute player coming in, he's playing pretty well. A little bit low CS, but um, when you're being pushed in quite hard, being threatened a lot. When, your whole lane, when every lane is losing... It's harder to farm. Of, yeah. He's going for that black cleaver. That'll help the graves out a bit too. They're both going for cleaver so they can both shred each other. Shred off of each other, I guess. Whatever the word is. They kill themselves off each other. Yeah, they both just smack each other with their with their axes. They need to be funneling the gold into the solution right now if they have any chance of coming back, but I just don't see it happening. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to. He's gonna pick up that gigantic going... wave. I'm pretty sure he's going as seismic right shove. Oh, the fear from over the wall into the paddle star. But there's the forge really god good. too. Big shutdown here. Forge god's gonna come through. He's gonna knock up a couple people, and uh, a fiddlestick's gonna get just smacked down. Still six is having a tough time. Another paddle star is going to land on the Xerath. But no, oh, but he actually cleanses it. Papa Chulo in the middle of everybody right now. He's going to get taken out. And that's two members down. Tristan is looking for blood right now. Tristan is all in the way. Going to be able to jump in. But here comes a Nova from the Swain. They're followed by the Culling. But Tristan is not going to jump in. So they're just going to play it a little bit safe. And uh, Hash are making these fights work somehow. But I think it's just because IRL is playing a bit too aggressive. I think IRL's just getting cocky at this point. Uh, Papa Chulo on this uh, Orn here with the Abyssal Mask into the Adaptive Helm. It's interesting. Doesn't don't really have don't really really have any armor. But, yeah. Lack of the armor. He honestly, he could rush a Zeke's and it would be really good if, instead of going for On the, the Orn? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I was thinking maybe like just a uh, some some sort of armor item, like uh, Dead Man's Plate or something. No, that'd be Frozen good. Frozen Heart. Well, if, he, if he goes to Zeke, no one else is even really as doing it right now because Rakan rushed Lockit, which I don't agree with either. I think Rakan should have rushed the Zeke and Orange should have the Lockit. But yeah, I agree. 
since Rakan rushed the locket, the Orn can get the Zeeks. IRL prepping for that Baron. They have so much uh, siege potential if they grab the Baron. It's going to basically just end the game immediately. The only chance... This is very... We don't even have Burger on in two items yet. Yeah, he's still looking for that Zonias, but... He's actually switched it up. He's going for Rylaz or something like that. Oh, Crowstorm coming through. <laughs> gonna look for the silence, but instead doesn't get it. He's gonna pop the Zonias, but just stalls his death for two and a half seconds. And here's the push from IRL with the Tristana and the Zerath. It's really hard to stop it. Paddlestar only did the 30% of the Tristana's HP. <coughs> Not a lot of damage coming through from Hash right now. Forced to flash away, followed by the Forge God. Zoe's gonna get taken out. Pew! For the Zerath. Pew! Once again, he's gonna get taken out. Two kills. I really hope Zerath's giant comet coming from the, the sky it hits him in the face and it doesn't just go pew! Pew! <laughs> they need more sound effects like that in the game, but Graves gonna ult that wave away, followed by the Calling. Pretty big damage, but opposing can't actually get in there just yet. There's so much harass. <clears throat> like I said, they named the tank top lane Mundo. Would have been Mundo. great. Mundo. Taking the yeah. Orn before taking the Fiddlesticks would have been great. Yeah, he was left open. Lucian getting closer to that Essence Reaver third. Tristana though has the three items spike with the QSS, so she's ginormous. Where were you when you learned that ginormous was actually a word? I think I was three years old. Everybody remembers that day in their life. Oh yeah, everybody? When it's a real word and not just something made up. <laughs> I think uh, Hash needs to reevaluate who's doing their draft and their jungler picks. Yeah, I don't know who their coach is. I don't know if they have a coach, but I think uh, I think all of their players are pretty vocal. I don't know much about Do Reaper, but I know uh, I've no Puff, Blake, and Freshburger, and they're pretty talkative. And the calling's gonna come through and take out Mr. Chulo. But opposing gonna get hit by that stun, and here comes the pew pew pew! Is he gonna get hit by any? And he does, just off off camera. And Fiddlesticks <laughs> tried his hardest right there. And Bubba the pew! Another one, triple kill. How is Zareth gonna get. He's gonna get a quadra kill here. He flashed pew, but he misses. The minions are taking the base. Minions are taking the base. Inhibitor Church goes down, and Zareth gonna fire up the last pew, but he doesn't get the hit. Talia's gonna just ulti through. The tower shot hits her while she's on the wall. And uh, looking like IRL are gonna end this game Pretty earlier than the IRL. last. Pretty good draft. Yeah, pretty good play. And uh, IRL are gonna come up with the 2-0 over a substituted hash thinking slashers. And that's gonna be it for week four of Prophecy Cup. And uh, new IRL looking pretty strong. I'm gonna have to say I give MVP to uh, CBT, in my opinion. I, I like his decision well making. Series. He did had very good decision making coming on when to gank and where to be. His pathing was 100%, but he definitely played well uh, on being where being on certain sides of the map and focusing the lanes that needed to get ahead. Yeah. That being said, I do think uh, Hash just has to evaluate, reevaluate what's going to happen with their drafts and put their jungler on some kind of tank jungler that has engaged because him on a carry is not what they need. Yeah, and right now the meta is shifted towards those carry junglers, so 
wonder what they're gonna put the Reaper on in later later series. I know Trundle's super good as usual. Yeah, Trundle, Sejuani. Those are like both really decent junglers right now. You can eh, I don't know. It's gonna yeah. be a lot to think about for them. Well let's but... bring in let's bring in their jungler and see if he's up for a little quick chit chat. Yo, what up, C B T? Uh hello. How's it going, bro? How do you feel after your first victory in Prophecy Cup? I mean, it was pretty much expected. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. You seemed pretty solid on paper, but didn't get to see you play until now, so. Yeah. How did you feel about the uh, Talia <laughs> pick and the Camille pick in, this, in these games? Do you think they're just like S-tier junglers right now? I mean, I think I was just better than the other jungler, so it didn't really matter what I picked. I feel you. Yeah, I think uh, the decision making coming from Reaper was not on par. You did pick the right lanes to gank, and left the uh, top by himself whenever he was not needed to be pressured. Yeah, game one, he should have definitely camped uh, his Darius. Darius is the win condition in the game, and he just left him alone. Oh, 100 percent. Darius with two kills definitely needed to be pressured down. Yeah, they could have just killed Orn on repeat with Nocturnal. But they never did, so. So, um, how's y'all's cohesion going in the as a team fights? Looks like y'all had everything very uh, mapped out in team fights. Uh, yeah, that was the very first game together as a team, so it was pretty on point. I think it's about a ten out of ten. Very 10 first 10 game, first so game. no no scrims at all or anything. Yep. Never played with these guys in my life. Just said, hey, yeah, log man. on at 11 o'clock p.m. on a Thursday night. We're gonna play some League of Legends. Yeah, I think I think those I think me and um, Morale we've played together before, and I think the other three have played together, but we've never played together as like a team. Okay, because I don't know who Secretic is or Sec Secret Secretic Society Carry. I don't know where he's from, but uh, where where are you and from and Morale from then? How do you guys oh, know each other? We know each other from. Way back, we're we're best friends back in uh, middle school. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. yeah, it all started in band class. Oh wow, nice. Your uh, AD carry played pretty well as well. I think he. Uh, yeah, he really popped off that game. I think he popped off both games. Oh yeah. But y'all played well as a team and uh, definitely pushed the advantage you needed to take and abused. The lane priorities y'all had. Well done. Hey, thanks, pal. Yeah, it's can I can I can I oh, shout out some can I can I shout out something? Oh yeah, man, the floor is yours. Uh, Twitter.com slash CPT Jungle. Go follow me, boys. <laughs> All right, how many followers you got? <laughs> Not I enough. got the big boy one nineteen. One nineteen. CBT Jungle, with like the Korean letters. Oh no, never mind. You got the graves with the glasses. Exactly, dude. That's me. NHS. That's where you go to school? Uh, where I did, yeah. Oh, okay. So you just graduated? Uh, yeah. I just graduated. Wait, CBT nice. Jungle? CBT underscore Jungle. Okay. I'm sitting here looking it up. Wait, is it J... It's just JG? That's what it is. So you going to college hey. in the fall? Excuse me? Are you going to college in the fall? Uh, No. I'm taking a one-year break because I moved, so I need residence status. Are you taking a gap year? Yeah. Nice. Wait, so you're getting residence status? What is that? Um, move states, so I need to live in a state for one year to get residence status, so I don't have to pay out-of-state tuition. Oh, I got it. Okay, that's a, that's a good deal. Don't you know these things? I respect that. I, I've lived in the same state my whole life. I didn't know that was like a rule or anything. But that's a pretty good strategy. Save that money. Yep. That's cool. Well, it's late at night, so I just wanted to get you in here because you played pretty well. Wanted to see, <laughs> introduce you to uh, the league. Say how you doing. So that's going right. to conclude week four of Prophecy Cup. Thank you, CBT, for joining us. Let me move you back down there. Thanks sure. for having me. No problem, bro. But, uh,. Yeah, it's going to conclude season uh, week four of Prophecy Cup. 
stay tuned. We're going to have week five matches starting uh, pretty shortly in the next couple of days, so stay tuned for those. And, uh, it's, I've been T-Craig. I've been online for five hours now, so have a good night.